بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو آج کا جو ہمارا ٹاپک ہے ان پالیمر کیمسٹری دیٹ از لائٹ اسکیٹرنگ میتھڈ فار ڈٹرمنیشن آف ویٹ ایوریج مالیکولر ویٹ آف پالیمرس ابھی تک ہم نے بہت سارے میتھڈ ڈسکس کیے ہیں اباؤٹ ڈٹرمنیشن آف نمبر ایوریج مالیکولر ویٹ اینڈ ادرس تو آج جو میتھڈ ہے دیٹ از فار ڈٹرمنیشن آف ویٹ ایوریج مالیکولر ویٹ سو واٹ آر دا بیسک پوائنٹس ہیئر جیسے میں بار بار اس کو ریپیٹ کرتا ہوں کہ وی آور جو مین کنسرن ہے دیٹ از دا بیسک کانسیپٹ ان آل دس سلیبس اینڈ ہاؤ کین وی ٹیکل دی شارٹ آنسر ٹائپ ایگزامز اور آبجیکٹ ٹائپ ایگزام سو ول اسٹارٹ لائٹ اسکیٹرنگ میتھڈ جیسے ورڈ ہی جو ہے ٹرم ہی ہمیں بول رہی ہے کہ دیر از سم تھنگ ٹو ڈو دا لائٹ اسکیٹرنگ اینڈ دیٹ لائٹ اسکیٹرنگ ول بی یوٹیلائزڈ ان دس کیس پالیمر سیمپل اٹ اسکیٹر دا لائٹ and that the intensity of the scattered light so in this case that we have jo polymer sample hai jo polymer sample hai jiska hame molecular weight nikalna ho ya pata karna ho so that polymer sample will incident some light on that polymer sample and then the polymer sample will scatter the light at different angles So we'll scatter the light at different angles. So that that uh, uh, scattered uh, light, uski intensity kitni hai, that it will be detected. So the intensity of that scattered light will be used here. That's used to get the concentration of the sample. Sorry, that's used to get the molecular weight of the sample, which is weight, average molecular weight. لیکن اس میتھڈ میں ایک ایڈوانٹیج ہے ان ایڈیشن ٹو دا مالیکولر ویٹ فرام دی وی کین ڈیٹیکٹ وی کین یوٹیلائز دی اسکیٹرڈ انٹینسٹی آف دس لائٹ فرام دا پالیمر سیمپل ود دی ہیلپ آف دیٹ وی کین ڈٹرمائن ویٹ ایوریج مالیکولر ویٹ اینڈ وی کین ڈٹرمائن دا کانسنٹریشن آف سیمپل ان دا پالیمر سلیوشن اینڈ وی کین آلسو ڈٹرمائن دا پولیرٹی آف دا سیمپل So we can also determine the polarity of the sample. Not only that, we can determine the chain length. Ek polymer mein jo chains hoti hai na, macromolecules, what is the length of the chains, the chain length. So agar ap yaha pe dekhe, so these terms are, it's, uh, they're very close. Polarity, it is related to the nature of the polymer. Ki polymer mein ko, whether its groups are polar, whether polymer is a polar or a non-polar and chain length whether it's polymer is smaller it's uh, chains they're smaller in length or the larger in length so this basically indicates the nature of the polymer so the light scattering method can not only give us the qualitative but also the quantitative we can not only quantitative but also the qualitative uh, data about the polymer so we can detect by this method the polarity the chain length and the molecular weight that's weight average molecular weight so is my basics kya hai that when light is passed through a polymer solution it is scattered the uh, polymer solution it scatters the light and that scattered light is utilized in light scattering method to get the weight average molecular weight and also polarity and the chain length so is my basically just set up hota hai uska basic hum yahan pe thoda sa ek uh, we'll try to get an idea about their setup انسٹرومینٹل سیٹ اپ ہوتا ہے یہاں پہ سو وی ہیو وی نیڈ اے لائٹ سورس ہیئر ایک لیمپ مان لیجیے سو اٹس اے سورس آف لائٹ دیٹ ول جنریٹ دیٹ ریڈیشن سو اٹس اے سورس آف لائٹ تو یہاں سے جنریٹ ہوتی ہے اپنی یو ویز بل لائٹ ٹھیک And that's passed through the monochromator to get a single wavelength. So it's passed through a monochromatic filter or monochromator. Monochromatic filter to get the single wavelength from that. We can also use a lens here so that the light can focus kiya jai, a convex type lens. And finally, we have the polarizer here to get a single polarized light. 
सो दिस इज योअर लेंस ये बेसिक जो सेटअप होता है नॉट गो इन द डिटेल एंड देन वी हैव फाइनली दिस इज योअर पोलराइजर पोलराइजर का यही काम होता है कि इट विल मेक द लाइट यू नो इन सिंगल टूवर्ड्स अ सिंगल प्लेन क्योंकि हम जानते हैं जो लाइट होती है उसके इट्स इट इज ऑसोलेटिंग मैग्नेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर एंड टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ प्रोपिकेशन सो विल गेट अ पोलराइज लाइट नाउ फाइनली फ्रॉम हेयर नाउ दैट पोलराइज लाइट विच कम्स टू दिस सीक्वेंस इज आई शो इट हेयर सो दैट पोलराइज लाइट यहां से पोलराइज लाइट निकलेगी शूट लाइक दिस तो जो सेटअप होता है एक्सपर्म सेटअप वी हैव ए ग्लास सेल हियर सो वी हैव ए ग्लास सेल हियर एक सो दिस इज अम्पल सेल कैन से इट्स अ सैंपल सेल जिस पॉलिमर सैंपल का हमें मॉलिक्यूलर वेट निकालना हो दैट्स प्लेस्ड हियर एट द सेंटर एंड देन ये बेसिकली एक्सीज पे होती है एंड देन इट इज रोटेटिंग सेल फिक्स रहती है लेकिन ज्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट ये सेल इट इट रोटेट्स इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन सो दैट फ्रॉम ऑल द साइड वी कैन गेट दी दिस कैटरिंग बिहेवियर सो यहां पर एक डिटेक्टर होता है इसका दैट इज फोटो मल्टीप्लायर ट्यूब so we have a detector here so this is your uh, detector here and that is usually a photo multiplier tube to ye hamara basic setup hai to ye jo detector hai ya receiver hai yahan pe isko receiver ya detector keh lijiye ये बेसिकली होता है एक इट्स अ फोटो मल्टीप्लायर ट्यूब तो इसको भी हम याद रख सकते हैं इट्स बेसिकली अ फोटो मल्टीप्लायर ट्यूब सो ये देखिए यहां से दिस इज इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन इसको हम इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन मान लेते हैं इट विल फॉल ऑन द सैंपल इट विल फॉल ऑन द सैंपल सैंपल के यहां पे सो दिस इज सिंपली let us see it passes through this this is the reference position this position now we know that during the course of rotation so we know the light is getting scattered scattered so that scattered scattered light it can be let us say if, uh, now we had earlier ab ye jo uh, receiver hai photomultiplier tube and this cell they are on a single platform here like a circle uh I just make it hypothetically like this so it's circular it is rotating and then this is also rotate with we will rotate this also so that agar light jab ye tube rotate ho jayega na so now let us say photo multiplier tube is here so we'll detect this uh, scattering at this point the light which is scattered incident radiation on the sample the light which is scattered then it will be received from here so now we are moving from this point to this point that is from reference position to this position so this is the angle so is there any different angles be we can get the scattering so now we are reaching here so we are tracing the angle that is this much and likely we can check its the the scattering intensity at different angles so this is the scattering intensity with with respect to the reference position so har angle pe har side se we can get the scattering intensity from the sample so now how we can calculate actually the uh the molecular weight the weight average molecular weight hamare paas jo uh, in the end jo relation hamare paas aa jati hai that is uh हमारे पास जो इम्पोर्टेंट रिलेशन है इसमें ये बहुत ही थोड़ा सा लंबा मेथड है बट विल नॉट गो इनटू डीप ऑफ दैट सो वी हैव फाइनल रिलेशन दैट इज द डेल्टा आर थीटा सो दैट्स बेसिकली द चेंज इन द स्कैटरिंग और चेंज इन द रायली स्कैटरिंग नाउ आई नॉट गो डिस्कस इन द रायली स्कैटरिंग 
But just uh, remember here, that is the scatter, scattered light, the intensity of the scattered light. So the change in the intensity of the Rayleigh scattering with respect to the angle. For example, from reference position, we have moved, we have rotated from, uh, you know, this setup. We receiving, we have rotated from here, so with respect to this change in the angle, here was the intensity thi and here was the so difference in that intensity, the change in the scattered light, scattering like intensity, a change in the Rayleigh scattering, or with respect to that angle, that is denoted by delta r theta. So that is given by the instrument. So this change in the Rayleigh scattering with respect to the angle, that is given by, yeah, it depends on optical constant, a constant hota hai, that is fixed, optical constant, multiplied by concentration of the sample. Our concentration zyada hai, you have more scattering with respect to some angle. It's multiplied by weight average molecular weight. Sample ka agar molecular weight average molecular weight zyada hai, then you have more Rayleigh scattering. And also it's, it, it's uh, multiplied by a factor that is, it's come as you like sakte hai, that's P of theta factor. Ye jo factor hai basically, this factor, it's used to basically sample हमारे पास होता है, अब वो sample में ये भी हो सकता है कि कुछ samples, कुछ polymer chains उनका molecular weight ज़्यादा हो, कुछ polymer chains हैं उनका molecular weight कम हो, जिन polymer samples का molecular, जिन में chains हो, या macro molecules हो sample में, उनका molecular weight बहुत high हो, and then, you know, when they will interact with the radiations of low wavelengths, तो उनमें जो है वो अकाउंट करने के लिए वो फैक्टर कैलकुलेट करने के लिए कि इफ यू हैव हायर चेंज हायर मॉलिक्यूलर वेट चेंज इन द पॉलीमर सैंपल एंड दे इंटरैक्ट विद द लोअर वेवलेंथ्स तो वहां से जो स्कैटरिंग फैक्टर जो निकलेगा दैट इज बेसिकली इंक्लूडेड बाय दिस पी थीटा दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ एवरेज पार्टिकल स्कैटरिंग फैक्टर तो इसको आप याद रख सकते हैं दिस पी थीटा इज बेसिकली एवरेज पार्टिकल scattering factor so this is the relationship we use here in the which is used to calculate the weight average molecular weight in the light scattering method that the Rayleigh scattering change with respect to the angle is given by k optical constant c concentration m molecular weight and the average particle scattering factor so this relation say we can calculate the weight average molecular weight. Now, अब ये जो method है इसमें एक benefit तो ये है that not only you can calculate the concentration and molecular weight but you can check the polarity of the chain. वो हम discuss यहाँ पे नहीं करने. That's not the scope here. And likely we can calculate the length of the polymer chain. And second thing is that is say हम we can calculate the wide range of. For example, हमारे sample में अगर आप we have since usually we have a polydispersed sample. So, in which our molecular weight, the range will be that is from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 6 gram per mole. And it's not different. It's it's not. 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 It's if it is an impure sample inside, uh, those, for example, dust is there or any other things are there, they can also count for the scattering. Unki wajah se bhi scattering hogi. Lekin hamara jo yahan detector hai, that will detect the, hum ye kya rahe hai ki, change in the Rayleigh scattering is directly proportional to the concentration of molecular type sample. To wahan se inaccuracy aa jati hai because of impurity. To is case mein, ek demerit ye hai, ki our sample should be pure. Our sample should be pure. And second, जो इसमें ड्राबैक है दैट वी नीड हाई कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सैंपल हाई कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सैंपल इफ आवर सैंपल कंसंट्रेशन इज लो देन वी मे नॉट बी इन अ पोजीशन टू कैलकुलेट द वेट एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट सो आवर सैंपल मस्ट बी प्योर एंड कंसंट्रेशन मस्ट बी हाई सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लाइट स्कैटरिंग मेथड दैट्स यूज्ड टू कैलकुलेट द वेट एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट